Welcome to Tommy Surfs. Today we're going to be looking at the Firewire HI, that stands for Harley Ingleby, mid-6. Now, as embarrassing as this is, I didn't realize what the 6 stood for until I got my hands on it. And I realize now that the mid, it's a mid-length, and the 6 is for the 6 channels on the bottom. Now the version I'm riding is 7 foot long by 20 and a half by 2 and 5 eighths, coming in at 40.3 liters. This is actually the shortest and smallest volume version of this model. The other two sizes include a 7.6 that comes in at 47.9 liters and a 7.10 at 50.6 liters. So now getting right into it, this is not your typical mid-length. This is a performance mid-length and you can tell by the pulled in pintail, also the fin configuration that looks specifically positioned for performance. Now one of my favorite things to do is watch Harley Ingleby surf his boards. Um, it motivated me to want to review this and I've been dying to try it. And thanks to a subscriber who was kind enough to lend it to me, I've had this board now for about a month and he's basically telling me hold on to it as long as I need to, you know, to get the footage I want. So Eric, shout out to you. Thanks very much, you're a legend. So now looking at this chart, as you can see it's weighted towards bigger waves as well as standard to optimal waves. Uh, so for weak waves, not so great only because it has a performance entry rocker which is gonna make it feel a little slower if the wave isn't pushing. If you wanted a board for smaller waves to feel more of the left of that graph, you'd be, you would be looking at Harley Ingleby's Mo. I have very little footage of the Mo in small waves which is kind of ironic. But yeah, the, the board's gonna catch waves a little bit easier and push less water, so it'll just feel like it's gliding through the, the small waves. So now in slightly bigger waves, uh, the mid six is surprisingly nimble. Uh, but you do have to surf the tail with, you know, all long boards or longer boards, uh, it does help. For someone like myself, who's 5'8", uh, this board is a little long. And I think the sweet spot for driving down the line is a little bit forward because of the rocker. So you'll see me here in, in a lot of these ways as I'm kind of pumping down the line, I'm standing in front of the fins and then I'll have to step back in order to do a maneuver. Hopefully you can see it because it happens so quickly. It's like right before the bottom turn. Another example, but I'm tilted over so it's super subtle. So now this one had such a good section coming that I didn't want to mess it up and you'll see that I hop back as well as move my back foot uh, in order to make sure that I'm, I have a good pivot point. So this 7.0 mid-6 is probably more beneficial to someone taller, uh, but someone that's shorter that you know has the wherewithal to kind of move their feet around, uh, it's actually a fantastic mid-length or performance mid-length. But if there was a 6.6 or a 6.8 version, it would probably fit my, my stance ideally. So as far as 7 foot mid lengths go, I would rank this maybe a 10 out of 10 in terms of performance. And if you've seen the video of Kevin Scholz on uh, this board pulling airs, um, I think you would agree. Now, if you were reading the little comments uh, on the intro, one of the things I stated was that this board creates opportunities. 
because it's a longer board on it with a pretty good high-end performance um, ceiling this board allowed me one to get in early and two spot things that I normally probably wouldn't see because I'm either racing down the line or just trying to make sections um, it allowed me the confidence to kind of slow up my surfing like all bigger boards do but then also had the ability to to do maneuvers or in this particular case stall for barrels so now i'll be the first to admit i'm not the best at barrels but i was really surprised how well this thing held uh, and fit inside the curve uh, of this these steep inside sections some of my other boards don't seem to do that very well they just want to climb the face so now if i were to classify these different mid lengths okay and mind you mid length it's a very broad spectrum of boards. It's anything from say 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, all the way up to almost eight feet. And so the way I would look at the mid six, it's basically a mid length that pulls in attributes of a short board. So the performance attributes of a short board, so allowing you to do short board type maneuvers. Something like the CI mid, it's a mid length that pulls in the attributes of a long board. Uh, like a classic V bottom, you know, so then you get, and it's a much flatter board, so you get definitely different lines, um, and it looks different when you surf it, so you don't want to compare the two. And then the Mo, it's kind of both. It keeps the modern uh, attributes of a short board in terms of bottom and rail, but just puts it in a longer length, so that way it's a user friendly, you know, board for kind of all around surfing. Now the funny thing is when I look at my footage, this board looks so long to me. Uh, and then when I watch Harley Ingleby on, on it on the same board, it looks you know pretty normal. But from my understanding, that guy is like six two six three, uh, so definitely will make the board look a little smaller. And the second interesting thing about this footage is I realized too that I don't stand as far back as I think I'm standing. So. I probably want to be on the kick when I do these maneuvers, but I'm actually like in the middle of the pad. So hopefully we'll get another swell and obviously it'll be too late for this particular video, but I would love to you know, try surfing the tail more on this board. And it goes to show you that I think video for self-improvement on surfing is key and super, super important. All right, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, apologies for how long it's taking. But, you know, if you live in Southern California, you know that these swells are kind of far and few in between. So to get the footage, it's like it's taken over months because I have to wait every other week just to get enough uh, of a swell to, to have uh, proper footage of these boards. So again, uh, appreciate all the support and you guys watching. Thanks and have a good one.